a number of students will say, hey, I'm going to, you know, mid-sized firm or hey, I'm going to a small firm or hey, I'm going to industry. Uh, hey, I'm going to a big firm. And then ask me, is this the right move? And I don't know about you, but the way I always answer is like, well, what, like, what's your goal in five years? Mm -hmm. Like how it, and what, what I'm looking for there is like, I'm like, do you want to live and work internationally? Because if they do, then you'd want to find a company that has some public, public companies, whether it's TSXV yeah. or TSX or, you know, NASDAQ, like you'd want to have that international and um, that IFRS experience. You'd want to have that, you know, perhaps US gap or, you know, kind of that mobility. But if somebody is like, hey, I want a stable job and I want it to, you know, I'm to be the relatively same year after year after year. Um, and it would almost be like, okay, maybe it's a small firm, a mid-sized firm or, you know, industry. Yeah. I don't know what kind of beyond that, what are some kind of considerations that recent grads or that, you know, soon to be grads might be able to look to when trying to pick the job out of university where they do want to pursue their CPA, but don't quite know if it's the right place for them. Yeah. I, I, I would probably default to the right place doesn't have to be perfect. And it also doesn't have to be permanent. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a great example. I, I started a midsize or a, you know, small midsize firm and then went back into a big four and some people go big four and they go midsize and they go back or they kind of boomerang around. I think, you know, it's that, that, what do you want to do in five years or where do you want to be in five years will always change. And, and I, I remember being 22 and graduating and not knowing what I wanted to do. And then I remember being 27 and not knowing what I wanted to do. And, you know, now I'm coming up in my mid thirties and I, you know, I don't really know what I want to do, but, but part of it is learning as you go. And as those different, you know, things become more clear to you, and maybe it's live in, you know, oh, I want to go live in Europe or I want to work in this, or I want to do that. You can always make a change to get to that place. So, so if you go to, you know, you go to a mid-sized firm and you get no IFRS experience and no public company experience, and you decide a couple of years down the road, like, Hey, I really want to, I want to go work for, uh, IFRS compliant company, and I want to take a company public, you can always then, you know, make that jump back into a firm that would maybe provide you with that or into a company that that is doing that, um, because there's lots of those around. So, so I, I think, you know, if you can find a place that you can learn, and if you can find a place that will give you opportunities to do different things and challenge yourself, you can just refine and continue to figure out what you want to do and, and make the changes along the way to get there. Um, so, yeah. I... Love it. No, because even in like CPA, I hear a number of students that are like, well, I'm in industry. I don't think I want to work in public practice, but I'm thinking about doing assurance uh, day two um, so that I can possibly go there in the future. And I'm just like, Whoa, that is a lot of like risk and a lot of um, like skills being built in a direction just in case. And I right. feel like as accountants, a lot of times we want to do things like you know, to like mitigate risk, but if you can almost be like cool with like, you know, a little bit of risk in a relatively like quote, safe profession, I, to me, that's kind of the sweet spot. And I say a little bit of risk to me, like, this is what I think I want to do. I'm going to build the skills towards that. And I'm going to be okay with, as you said, if that changes, going to pick up those skills when it changes, because yeah. it's not like you lose all this, you bring yeah. it along with you and you can go build onto that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and you know, that entire time, you got to be working on your kind of soft skills, right? Like you got to be figuring out, like, do I, you know, do you like working really hard? Do you want to get into the weeds? Uh, are you going to do the right thing when no one's looking? Like you, you got to be working on all those things because those are the transferable ones that, you know, technical accounting, like if you, if you learn ASPE and you want to go learn IFRS, that, that, that is a, that's a very easy skill to learn. Uh, but if you want to do that, You've got to be able to bring all these other pieces around trustworthiness and hard work and and a desire to learn and being a good teammate and doing all of that so that because those are the ones that get you hired into the next role and those technical skills you'll you'll pick up um but, but you have to bring the, the baggage you bring has to be good baggage right absolutely 